Just to recap on some of the technologies. What we see here is a comparison between Wi-Fi 5 and Wi-Fi 6. And this particular one is showing the downlink capability set. So Wi-Fi 5, the downlink is 4x4 MU or multiple user MIMO. In Wi-Fi 6, that has been increased to 8x8. As well, we can now do eight streams because we have more RF chains in the antenna, in the antenna array. Another significant capability set is the fact that Wi-Fi 5 was using 256 QAM and Wi-Fi 6 is now using 1024 QAM. What that means is we have eight bits per symbol over here with Wi-Fi 5, 10 bits per symbol here with Wi-Fi 6. That gives us 25% improvement in the efficiency. Probably the most significant improvement over the two technologies is the introduction of OFDMA. So this is what allows us to get around that limitation of having a single subcarrier tied to a single user. Now what we can do is we can break that subcarrier apart by using subchannels or resource units, and we can effectively have multiple users in every subchannel at the same time. So we can improve the amount of concurrency as well. We can significantly improve the efficiency, and we can eliminate those problems where maybe a particular user is not sending enough data to really fill that subcarrier channel. As a result, there's a lot of inefficiencies. The BSS coloring is used in the scenario, as you can see here, where maybe we have multiple access points that are on the same channel, but we don't want interference between these. So what we do is we use that six-bit field to identify one as green, one as blue, and we use RSSI thresholds to determine whether or not that's going to collide in terms of the data. If they're the same color, we want to make sure that we don't collide. If they're different colors, we're not so worried about a data collision because they're going to two different Wi-Fi access points. And then finally, in Wi-Fi 5, we only had single user uplink. In Wi-Fi 6, we have 8x8 multi-user uplink. So just like we did in the downstream, we can now do eight streams uplink at the same time. That results in a significant improvement in terms of performance, as well as an overall efficiency gain of four times.